Space Unit family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello, my name's Kimberly, and I hope you subscribe. Do give this video a massive thumbs up to be a part of my weight loss journey channel and turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload. Don't forget to come over and follow me on my inspirational fitness page on Instagram where you get a more behind the scenes of my day-to-day -day life as well as fitness tips and motivation. Also my personal Instagram page as well. Now, as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, and it's gonna seem incredible actually seeing this out loud, I am now a 40 pound weight loss channel which is crazy to me because like I tell you guys I started this channel off as, as a 20 pound weight loss channel with a long way left to go and you guys were always asking me like how do you plan to get there how long do you think it will be what are you doing with that all that type of thing and then out birthed this massive weight loss journey channel which video after video day after day it's been incredible and you guys have been watching my journey asking for updates and now I can say I'm a 40 pound weight loss channel so I am trying not to get emotional, but it's incredible. So I thought for today's video, I'm actually going to take you back to the very, very beginning, showing you photos, photos of me from the very beginning to get a real visual of where I was when I started, taking you through with me all the new things that I've done within these last 10 pounds, because about a month ago, I made a video about my 30 pound weight loss and how I'd officially reached 30 pounds. So I'm going to basically update you everything that happened since then as well. Also, if you guys would like me to film a what I eat in a day and a workout routine video on here, do give this video a massive thumbs up right now so I know that you guys want to see that for my next video possibly because like I always say that last push is always really hard and I had this constant cycle of constantly getting three quarters of the way through halfway through I'd lose five pounds I'd lose ten pounds but I'd never ever for three years I was never ever able to say I have actually reached my goal I've smashed my goal I've made it and I finally got to my goal weight and I was actually losing so much hope what I really loved about this specific weight loss journey is it's coming from someone who really really struggled to lose weight three years of no hope doing every single diet under the sun the Kylie Jenner diet if that's even a thing the tea diets the all these diet and crazy diet fads of get lose weight quick that never ever worked so I'd lose 10 pounds and gain it all back I'd lose 20 pounds and gain it all back and I always felt like what really really pushed me and motivated me was the fact that during all throughout high school I'm going to any event I'm, I always ended up being the larger person in the room I was never able to walk into a room or go to events where I'm like I actually am one of the healthier people in the room I'm fit I'm healthy I look good I feel good and I was like am I really gonna go through my entire life and never be able to say that but what I will tell you before I go into what exercises what food methods I did I want to tell you that when you do lose weight when you get to your goal weight there is a huge difference between wearing the clothes that you needed to wear in order to cover up or that the clothes that would fit like fit me clothes the only being able to wear clothes that would fit and being able to wear anything you want the difference difference is huge. I never thought that was a thing. I was like, I'm at the stage now where I can wear literally whatever I want. And for anyone watching this, I want you to know that there is hope to be able to do that. And it's 100% possible. You guys know one of the main things that I did was intermittent fasting, CrossFit, walking 10,000 steps a day, and really watching my nutrition. Now going into this specifically, it can sound so easy and simple. And I will tell you the first half of your weight loss journey is pretty much easy and simple. Every single person has have their individual barrier that they can never ever push past. Whether you manage to lose five pounds, you've never ever pushed past that. You've never ever seen yourself in a specific scale number category. We all have that. And I say this because these methods of CrossFit and intermittent fasting, they're methods that I've heard before. You know, things weren't working for me. But for anyone starting a weight loss journey, number one understanding that you have to have is how important your food is. Now, I had this thing where I was constantly craving 24 seven. I could have two good days or three good days or sometimes Sometimes I'd even get to the end of the week of a successful healthy eating journey and I would always only ever get to the end of the week and then I'd be eating something unhealthy on the weekend again and it was that constant cycle again and again and again. I had to learn as why this was actually happening because this is actually a scientific reason as to why that's happening and for anyone who is similar to that this is probably why. But what happens is depending on the foods that we eat we are actually not allowing our craving levels to be balanced and those craving levels are produced by something called insulin and insulin is basically something that comes from sugars and salts that you eat so when there's a spike in your insulin so imagine your insulin needs to be this level in order to regulate cravings when you spike your insulin by having something overly sugary or overly salty your insulin takes a longer while to regulate again while it's still in that spike you're going to be craving anything and everything i'm going to link this to things that healthy possible foods that you could be eating that actually cause this so for me i was thinking yes i'm on this healthy eating journey let me have 
have a massive fruit salad for lunch, you know, the healthy labelled crisps from the shops for lunch and have a massive vegetable bowl for dinner. The one thing that I always constantly do is to blame healthy food for the reason why my weight loss journey wasn't healthy. I wonder why, but when I eat unhealthy, I'm full and I feel full and I feel satisfied. And the problem with that is actually, you need to know that carbohydrates do turn into sugar. So why that links is because carbohydrate in the vegetables will turn into sugar and spike your insulin. So even when you're having this massive bowl of vegetables, you still have to regulate how much of those vegetables that you're eating. So that type of thing and knowing that, so these healthy fats, healthy sugars, sugars that come from these foods are still ones to be tracked. It doesn't make them limitless. And that number is still a number. So it's a, if it says 50 grams, if it says 10 grams, it's still a number that adds to the bigger picture that could be causing your craving. So really understanding that as well and understanding that the sugar that comes from fruit can be the one that's spiking your insulin. So if you felt really empowered by having your fruit bowl at lunch, be careful that in the evening you could actually be craving way more than normal because of the sugary spike that you had from the massive fruit bowl. So it's replacing these things with instead of having a massive fruit bowl, you're better off having a small portion of rice for lunch with a salmon. That is going to make worlds of difference and really knowing these differences but changes in every single food group that you're eating, whether it's yogurt, whether it's crisps, whether it's these healthy labelled foods that are actually not as healthy and as good for us as we are constantly being fed and told. So really, really understanding that. And I want to actually talk about an element that really makes a successful weight loss journey. And that's understanding that you're going to have bad days. I talked to you guys about how the reality of a weight loss journey is that your cheat days, that, that one cheat day that you planned for next week could end up turning into three cheat days in a row. That one rest day that you had planned in two weeks time can end up turning into a week of rest days. And that is so real and realistic to what happened in my weight loss journey. And it's so real that this is proof that you can bounce back after that. Your body was just really, really craving that rest day. It was really, really craving three cheat days in a row. But it's about having those cheat days, not feeling guilty. I'm convinced that the guilt is what makes you go into this rotation and catalyst of constantly going back to cheat days over and over again because you're too hard on yourself when they happen. Enjoy your cheat day. Your body needed it. On the other side of things, realizing that, okay, cheat days is going to be on a large spectrum. What might be a small cheat day, for example, like a donut for one person could be a whole 50 packets of donuts for another person so the responsibility within a weight loss journey is also understanding how much of a cheat day are you really going to give yourself because you know that in 3,500 calories that 3,500 calories is equal to a pound of fat okay 3,500 calories is what makes you gain one pound and if you have a 400 calorie donut on a Sunday evening that is not necessarily going to make you gain all the weight back and in fact in a couple of days that's going to be gone and flushed out of your system what really matters is how you deal with your cheat days are you willing to go overboard and crazy or are you happy to still within the margins and have that donut treat and stay within your margins so again that's another catalyst and what makes having cheat days so much easier when you understand that you yourself aren't going overboard either when it came to my exercising i really really want to emphasize how i how much i committed to it now exercising once or twice a week is good for someone who's extremely busy but in order for me to actually push past my barriers and get to my goal i actually did have to increase my exercise in quite a lot and especially that commitment in the very beginning. You would still see results if you were exercising three to four times a week but I really really wanted to commit to six days a week. The importance of this for me is because I was going from not doing any exercise at all or doing the wrong exercise but now I'd found the right exercise and I was doing it consistently. I've already tripled my chances of a successful weight loss journey by a country mile and I want you to understand the power of this. When I was doing exercising before and on this unsuccessful weight loss journey I was going to the gym constantly running on the treadmill running for an hour to two hours and not losing any weight what you will do in cardio for two hours I can get the exact same effectivity in half an hour doing the right workout and that brings me on to my holy grail workout that I will do forever and ever and ever and that is hit training and crossfit now what I like about hit training and crossfit is they actually cross over into a lot of similarities although hit training can be non-equipment which is amazing for people who don't have equipment at home it is still possible to do HIIT training and lose weight. But for my CrossFitters, which honestly changed everything for me, CrossFit is basically using muscle workouts and weights. Now when I say to you how important muscle workouts is over cardio, muscle tissue and creating that muscle tissue burns fat faster. The minute I've already said that word faster is incredible. If you're doing a lot of muscle training and HIIT training, you're eating pizza and feeding your abs pizza, your potential lean legs pizza, they're going to counteract each other and that is just that. It's calories in versus calories out for a successful weight loss. So what I would really say
say is realizing how powerful protein is and I want that to be a keyword for this video the power of protein when I used to go to school or work I used to see a lot of people getting their bulk powders or their protein powders in a bottle and shaking it uh, to have their protein drink and I used to be like why do people even do this even on the days that they're not even going to the gym and that is because of the power of protein and not enough people know of the power of protein basically protein is not only going to speed up your weight loss by 30% which is massive when you really put it into a scale of all the other things that you're doing. Protein also does, it suppresses hunger. Also realizing that protein is gonna be the catalyst to suppress your hunger. So all these types of things, you really need to do the theory behind it before actually jumping into your weight loss journey. Because if you're gonna wonder why you're constantly craving or wonder why your workouts don't seem to be making any differences, the right workouts, the right food, and that's what I really had to realize. Now, one of my favorite things that I really had to understand and incorporate is that when I first started this channel, I did a gallon of water a day challenge and that was one of the most exciting videos that I've done ever because it actually taught me so much about the stomach and how much your body can actually take when it comes to food. A lot of the time when we're eating unhealthy our bodies can feel limitless. We get to that stage in a really really unhealthy eating routine where we feel like nothing ever fills my stomach up. I could have three Chinese takeaways in a row or three packets of sweet in a row and then within an hour's time I could easily be eating something different and something new. Our stomach is actually our fifth size so put your fist up like this your stomach is actually this size so when we drink water before every meal during meals and after meals we are enabling ourselves to fill it at least halfway or three quarters of the way with water itself and remember stomach fullness is just a feeling of this part being full so when we use the water as the responsibility to fill it partially the food that we end up eating doesn't have to be as dense and as heavy and as plentiful so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have to give this video a massive thumbs up if you'd like to see me do my weight loss workout routine next and what I eat in a day video. Don't forget to come over and follow me on my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my personal Instagram page as well. But also check out my fitness plans in the description where you get my workouts, everything like that, my own, such my own fitness business. So it's really exciting to possibly have every single one of you guys on there. I know I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye guys.